there are many of us in our 50s who find we're single. So now we're trying to think about what it is that we want for ourselves as a generation. And that is what this series is all about. Women want different things when they get to their 50s. And that's fine. And that's something to celebrate. I think everybody's scared of getting to 50. People perceive it as um, you're finished. And nobody expects anything from you. I've always had to do things on my own. And I enjoy that. And I say, if that's what you like, do not, there's no fear. Some of my clients just prefer younger men because that's what they like. I say, you're joking, I've got time, it's older than you. I'm not afraid for anybody to see my body because I love what I see. Hello, my name's Carol. I... <laughs> Just flick her hair. Yeah. And they're like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, it's nice hair. If you're going for a bad boy, I don't know if you like But you're not a bad boy. Do you? <laughs> I'm here to tell you that my 50s have been the best decade of my life so far. Find out what makes you happy. And secondly, do more of it. That's a great message, I love that. Carol joins me now. What, I have an amazing bunch of strong, intelligent, Absolutely. interesting women. I know, yeah. and the, that is the message. I mean, you know, because we're the, we're the same age. That I was On my 18th birthday, my mum sat me down and she said, Carol, it's about time you settled down and got married. Gosh. Sue down the road, you know Sue down the road? <laughs> yes, mum, she's on the shelf. You know how old she is? 26. Oh, <laughs> Things have changed, <laughs> thank the Lord. But we were brought up with those messages, weren't yeah. we? And then all through our generation, we've done it so that we can have more freedoms and so our children will have more freedoms, yeah. like Rosie, like my case. Sure. So, uh, for instance, when I went to university, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. I couldn't because I was a girl. You couldn't join up as a girl. You couldn't do this because you were a woman. You couldn't go and work, you know, on oil rigs because you were a woman. You couldn't do this, couldn't go do that. 39 was short dress to the BAFTAs. I remember. You remember? I remember The that issue dress. was whether I you liked wow. the dress or not was no one at the age of 39 should wear something that outrageously above the knee. <laughs> long ago oh, that, was, no, that was almost 20 years ago and that's what I mean is that we've had to break down all of these ridiculous sure. like barriers that society has set so now there's our pile of us who are single in our 50s for whatever reason uh, some have you know chosen to be that way some have been uh, married divorced yeah. you, you, you know my husband Paddy sure. and uh, and we had 10 extremely happy years and then it suddenly wasn't happy. I regard that as a successful time in my life. Yeah. Successful Two chapter. gorgeous kids as well. Yeah. So now this is what this series is about, really. <laughs> we're in, we're single. We're in our 50s. How does that look? Well, stuff what the newspapers tell us, which is, oh, put your head to one side and feel sorry for everyone who's <laughs> single in their 50s, because that's not how it looks at all. Mm. And, uh, and so... That, you know, we, I've been talking to these women who have found themselves, some by choice, some not by their own choice, and what they've done to make the most of their lives, because it's yes. about our lives. Yeah. It's and not lot, just about finding someone else. It's not else. just about uh, no. finding next. So I do have a laugh with Kem, because he, he's rubbish at chatting. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> so rubbish. So we try and give each other chat up lines. It's actually hilarious. I cried for an hour. <laughs> it's so funny. But, but, but about women, it's about giving ourselves a freedom to say, this is my choice. So, mm -hmm. yes, some people do want to find the next Mr. Right and settle down and get married. That's fine. But we don't all want that. No, no, not at all. To be honest, I wouldn't know where to start. This is why it's so, it's so fascinating to see. Well, that. it's been interesting talking to everybody. So some women do want that. Yeah. Some would like to find one person, but they don't want to live with them again. Right. Bearing in mind that our generation generally did the looking after mm -hmm. of the kids generally I'm yep. talking about generally did the caring for uh, an older generation mm. and so on um, and now we have time for ourselves which is a great thing and, and yeah. that that really has given us you know mm. tremendous freedom to choose mm. the things that we want to do so some women might want three or four on the go at the same time oh no that's too exhausting <laughs> <Yes>. no <laughs> <laughs> Some <laughs> might not want anybody. I know. Uh, and then what about the younger man thing? Because you've dated a, you dated younger men. Yes. Is that empowering? Is that a good thing? Does it work? Is it, I mean, are they are they keepers? Are they, well, yeah, but we're not all looking for keepers. That's, That's true. That's that is true. the point, yep. really, I think. Um, some are. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not. 
<laughs> surprise, surprise, at all. I mean, I, you know, um, I, I can't think of anything worse at the moment, to be perfectly honest. I genuinely, I have had the best summer of my life. I've had the best week of my entire life was in July. It was a big RAF 100 week. Oh, of I course. I had parties. There were things that were hugely significant, deep down, sort of spiritually and emotionally, that happened. I never dreamt that I'd be in Westminster Abbey in uniform with these incredible people mm. who I have, I have the greatest respect for. And you for realise sure. you're a tiny, tiny, tiny part of something much bigger. Mm. And, and so all of those fantastic emotions, you know, working with the air cadets and, yep. and so on, and then the massive air show and partying and, so, uh, you know, having a Winnebago at the end of the runway and all of that, which was wonderful. Amazing. And, and I just... Um, and I, it's a sort of message that the women that I talked to on this, on this little series... Um, a saying. There's one wonderful woman, a Scottish woman, as a nurse. Very briefly, she and her husband, happily married, and then she got to her fifties, decided fundamentally that she didn't want to be married anymore. Not that she wanted somebody else, no. but she, but that he wanted different things to her. Okay. And uh, and so she slowly but surely found these sort of they're called meetup groups. It's just friends, just people who are interested in the same right. thing. From that, someone suggested sailing. Uh, she went, oh, I don't want to say, uh, sailing. Why do I want to do that? Anyway, she's ended up on the Ellen MacArthur Trust Boats, wow. which is for uh, disabled and disadvantaged yeah, yeah, yeah. children. And she worked as a medic on those voluntary work right. um, and, and has had all really these fulfilled. fantastic adventures. Yes. And her point is that she's having adventures that she's never had before. Uh, from that, she may find somebody. She's not actually bothered. And, and I think that's that's the message. That's usually when you meet the love of your life when you're not that be. bothered. But it's OK if you don't. And it's OK. So that's what we're saying. It's OK if you don't. Jennifer Aniston. Yes. Amazing. In her 50s. And it is ridiculous that people go, oh, poor Jennifer Aniston. Poor Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> she's stunning. She's beautiful. She's hot. She's wealthy. She's got an amazing life. She belly laughs all the time. She's talented. Poor Jennifer do they say that about Gary Lineker? No, that's Poor true. Gary Lineker. No, they don't. Why divorced? No, they don't. Nobody does. No, they don't. Because it's, it's a chap. It's just totally different.